Will it live up to the hype? We're about to find out. Next to me, of course, is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. It's time for our tale of the tape. Introducing first, Special K, Kel Brook. 72 kilos on the nose. He's 175 centimeters tall with a reach of an identical 175 centimeters. And he'll be facing Robin Reed, the Grim Reaper. He's five foot nine, weighing in at 159 pounds with a 76 inch reach. Brawlers are a nightmare. You've got to be strong and fit. Use that long reach, use that long jab. Do it that way, you'll be safe all night. He is Special K, Kel Brook, the former welterweight champion of the world, fighting out of the steel city of Sheffield, UK. The Grim Reaper, Robin Reed, a former two-time super middleweight world champion and a bronze medalist from the 1992 Summer Olympics. The reach, how on earth? How are they gonna get through that jab? This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, introducing the former British welterweight champion from Sheffield, England, here is the former welterweight champion of the world, Kel Special K. Hiding out of the blue corner from Runcorn, England, here is a super middleweight champion of the world, the Reaper Man, introducing Robin Reed. Expectations are sky high for this fight. Will it live up to the hype? We're about to find out. Todd, all I can say, heaven on earth, heaven on earth. The fans are ready, and it looks like the fighters are now ready. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Missed him with that uppercut. And wisely here, they're going to clinch and hold on to stop this offensive onslaught. Yeah, you've got to clinch. What the idea is just to get your opponent to complain to referee. Get him to complain about the condition. Get him to just feel uncomfortable. Keep doing unorthodox thing. I don't mind that now and again. But don't make a habit of it. He's going to go with more footwork now. What do you think of that strategy? Really good buzz in the air tonight. This crowd waiting for something special. So once again, they'll clinch. And one of these fighters has got to take the lead here. Sometimes you've got to go with the instincts. Hold on tight until your head clears, until you get your breath back, until the referee steps in. Nice counter. Oh, and just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, it's a knockdown. Oh, he's down. Is he going to raise like the Undertaker? back on his feet, but at some point you have to think about the next fight and not this one. The corner need to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take. This is going to be a tough decision to make. Perfect counter shot. Just misses with that jab. Final 10 seconds here, unless something major happens. I think we all know who won that one. Let's talk about Rook and that. And there's the bell to start the round. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. You can 
see the heavy breathing, but that's not slowing him down. This counterfighter believes in the anything you can do, I can do better. They'll let you throw a punch first, and they'll answer you, and usually get you a chance to make history. Ambi legs are kicking in. Look at those legs. The legs have gone. It appears that the moment of trouble has passed, at least for now. Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the back foot, clear the head a little bit, then jump back into it again. It's all about it. We're always looking for that massive blow, and down goes Kell Brook. Oh, he's down, he's down. Is he going to get up? He's staggering. They're back on their feet, but let's see how much they have left in the tank. Somebody can smell blood here. They can smell blood. They've got to be smart. Get in there. Then, boom, back in the same spot again. It happened once, and you got away with it. You can do it again. There he is bouncing on his toes, trying to get some in. Ten seconds to go, and what domination we've seen. The defense failed them. Oh, I heard. Changes everything and down they go. Is he out? Is he gonna move? Is there a twitch? Not many people would have predicted it, but we've got a knockout victory. A knockout victory? That's not a knockout victory. That is somebody saying. I'm here. I've arrived. Try that again. It will happen all over again.